Welcome back to the Talking Archive. I'm Josh Jacobs. Follow us right now on Instagram at JoshDJ57. That's JoshDJ5 and 7. Josh DJ 57. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already, tell your friends and our conversation concludes now with radio personality, TV host and voiceover talent, Larry Kenny. And, um, you also are the voice of count Chocula as well as Sonny, the cuckoo bird. Uh, yeah. you've been doing, doing Sonny since 1978. Um, yeah. before that was another well-known actor that's slipping my mind right now. And I can't remember who it is. Um, well, um, let's see. Um, Count Chocula was, uh, oh, damn, I can't remember his name. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. And Sonny, the, Sonny the Cocoa Puffs bird, uh, before me was Chuck McCann. That's right. Chuck McCann, a very well, uh, yeah. very successful character actor. Exactly, uh, I seen, yeah. I, I couldn't, I couldn't t- tell you any one thing, but he was in so many things. Um, oh, yeah, I know, I know. Did you ever did get to meet him? Of, I did not, but I got to, got to work with him uh, hmm. maybe 10 or 12 years ago. Uh, when Chuck was doing uh, Sonny, the Cocoa Puffs bird, uh, I remember he, he was doing that when I was a kid. Oh, and the other one is Jim Dukas. Jim Dukas was doing Count Chocula. Hmm. And I, I grew up as a kid watching TV and both of those guys, you know, so when I got to replace him, it was incredible. So I had already been uh, Sonny, for Cocoa Puffs, uh, maybe 10, 12 years, maybe longer than that. And um, uh, they decided to bring, um, they decided to, to bring uh, another one of uh, Chuck McCann's characters on the old, on the old uh, Cocoa Puffs commercials. Uh, uh, Grandpa, he's called Grandpa. Oh, okay. So they decided they wanted that character back on for a few commercials, and uh, and they, um, they and, and I, I would do Sonny, and he would do Grandpa, and we did two or three of them. But he was always in L.A., and I was in a studio in New York, so I never mm-hmm. really actually got to meet him. Oh. That happens a lot, especially these days. You know, you work with somebody, but you you don't work with them. You work at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, it's funny how. Um... Oftentimes, people not in the industry think, oh, everybody in the industry knows each other. They've met each yeah. other. And then you yeah. find out that you never met each other or that was the first time you met each other. Yeah, wow. sure. Yeah, that, that, that happens. I mean, it's a big, a lot of people in this business, you know. Oh, yeah. I'm, 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 frankly, I'm not one of those guys who likes to or makes a point of going to parties and things where a lot of other actors are and, and things. It's just not... Not me. I mean, I, it's not that I refuse to go to a party. It's, mm-hmm. I'm just not. I don't schmooze like that, you know. Um, the people I meet, I see a lot, are people we really hit it off, you know. And, mm-hmm. um, but I just, I, I don't go around just trying to meet as many actors as I can. It's Johnny Carson was a lot like that. He uh, yeah. At, at gatherings where you know Hollywood movers and shakers would be, uh, Johnny would be kind of sitting off you know, yeah. by himself, kind of mm-hmm. keeping to himself. That's why he oftentimes had on people who were not famous because he could really relate to them. He's like, okay, here's exactly. a person with a, a potato chip collection and each chip is, you know, shaped like a different, yeah. you know, animal or something like that. Yeah. Um, and then Johnny, like, crunched a potato chip and Lay thought, you know, he'd eat her, eat her chip. He's like, oh, you want a bowl of potato chips? And he just pulled the bowl out and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Freak he was, the he guest was, out. Hey, Josh, Josh, give me one second. Oh, sure. Okay. My wife's yanking my chain here to go to dinner. She's oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't want. I don't want your dinner to get cold. Well, <laughs> oh, she's not. She's not making it. We're going out. For oh. It. <laughs> my wife and my wife, God bless her, I love her to death. She's the first one to tell you that she's she's not a cook. In fact. uh I made a few jokes about her over the years. Uh, what's um, what's the, just with the family? You know, I'll say what's the what's the uh, last thing mom says before dinner? Get what? in the car. <laughs> 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 now it reminds me of Neil Diamond's story. He says one year the Thanksgiving turkey burned, so we had KFC for our uh, Thanksgiving uh, meal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like KFC. 
Yeah, me too. That's not actually bad. <laughs> Maybe I'll try it sometime. <laughs> now, you also were announcer for VH1's Best Week Ever. Um, yeah. And you're currently the voice of Westwood One's Monday Night Football, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, that was 30 years ago. Oh, okay. That. But I, I still, um, yeah, I'm still, um, uh, what did you say first? I forgot. Oh, um, and VH1's Best Week Ever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that damn show nearly killed me. Oh, no. As you, as you recall, the, um, <laughs> the, my, my voice was, <clears throat> you better put your phone away from your ear. <laughs> okay. It's the first week of August, 1985, the best week ever. And I had to talk like that for 30 minutes on every show. Oh, man. <laughs> damn near killed my voice. As a matter of fact, I still use that voice on uh, Skittles commercials. Mm. You know, the candy? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm the guy at the end of all of them that says, feel the rainbow, taste the rainbow. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I've been doing that now for about 25 years. Oh, goodness. Do, they, do you get free Skittles? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> you know, way back in the old days, I, I, I heard that they used to, you know, guys, if you were if you were doing a commercial, network commercial for somebody, they would send you boxes mm -hmm. like that. Matter of fact, there was a guy named Jackson Beck who's passed away since then. Since then, he used to do on the, do the um, Thompson's Water Seal commercial. Oh yeah, John, uh, Jackson was a fascinating man. His his after card, you know, after the American mm -hmm. Federation of Radio and Television Artists, his after card number was number one because he started the union, and so he had been you know in there forever. He he worked until he was ninety two years old. Wow. And when he was about 80, he and I were doing something together. And uh, we were sitting out in the, out in the lobby while the producers were listening to some takes and deciding which one they want to use. And uh, Jackson's sitting there smoking, you know. This is well past the time when you're not allowed to smoke anywhere inside. <laughs> who's who's going to tell Jackson Beck he can't smoke? You know? <laughs> so we were sitting there chatting, and I, there was a little pause, and I thought... Uh, I make a little joke. I said, you know, Jackson, if you ever stop smoking, you'd be out of work. <laughs> because he had, <laughs> and instead of laughing, he said, Larry, you know what? That reminds me. I never smoked a cigarette in my life until, in a long pause, and he said, 1954. <laughs> 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 he said, I was doing the, uh, I was the announcer on the Lucky Strike hit parade. And those bastards sent me a carton a week, and I'll never forgive them for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm sorry. A, a case a case every week. <laughs> a case of cartons, I'll never forgive them for it. <laughs> <laughs> what was the uh, best piece of advice you've ever been given as a broadcaster? What? Uh, what's the... The best piece of advice, I don't know, oh, <laughs> advice right. or advice, maybe piece of advice or advice. I would... <laughs> did I ever, did I ever receive mm -hmm. from somebody? Yeah. Oh gosh. Um... Oh yeah, Willie Nelson told me never squat with your spurs on. Hmm. Awesome. You get it? You don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Never squat with your spurs. <laughs> <laughs> he said, well, Willie, I don't actually own a pair of spurs. He said, that doesn't matter. <laughs> and what's your advice to those who'd like to uh, get into voiceover in radio? You know, I, I'm going to have to come up with some new advice because of the changes in the business today. I used to always tell people, you take classes, you know, and then there's a process. You take classes for eight weeks or whatever, and then you make a demo tape and you go around to the agencies and all that. But now, you know, with computers and people have home studios and podcasts and all that kind of stuff, uh, I really don't know what would be the best way. Uh, I really don't. And I don't know any young people in the business who just got started that, that could, could tell me that, what, how, what advice to give to people. Um, so, I'm sorry, but I just, you know, I, I, I know it's not the same as it used to be, mm -hmm. but I don't know what the process now is. Yeah, it's, it's uh, like you say, constantly changing, and uh, it's kind of like almost the luck of the draw. 
Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. and the things that go viral, you kind of wonder, okay, if somebody says I'm going to make a video that's going to go viral, it won't go viral. <laughs> that's the only thing I can say. <laughs> unless it's, unless it's so bad. Yeah. Everybody, you got to see this, man. You got to look at this. Because it's totally <laughs> And I've seen some of them like, yeah, that's, I'm not surprised that went viral. <laughs> Viral. <laughs> of course, the person's uh, probably laughing all the way all the way to the bank now because sure. it's gone viral yeah. and they're making mo- yeah. money off of it. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Well, this is the Talking Archive. My name is Josh James. We've been talking with Larry Kenny, who, by the way, was also the uh, uh, b- uh, best country disc jockey. Uh, he won that in, twice, for, twice uh, yeah. in 1976, <laughs> and I forget the other year, but I'm sure you know. Um, 78. 78. Hey, there we go. Yeah. Every other year right there. And uh, so uh, it's been great uh, talking with you, Larry. Anything you want to add before we uh, go our separate ways? Yeah. Don't squat with the spurs on. (laughs) That's about it. No, I just just would like to say, uh, you folks who are listening, Thundercats fans uh, or Silverhawks or any of the the things I've done, uh, thank you so much because, you know, if it were going for – people listening and watching, uh, I wouldn't get a, you know, 50 years later to sit here and talk to Josh. So I appreciate it. I love you all. Where do you get to go to have dinner tonight? I don't know. She hasn't told me yet. Uh Oh, (laughs) (laughs) I I, I know, I know it's not going to be in the kitchen. That's the only thing I demand. (laughs) Well, I hope it's something good. And, uh, (laughs) <laughs> bon appetit, as they say, and uh, we'll we'll Thank definitely you. talk soon. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. It's been fun. It has definitely. Thanks, Larry. Appreciate it. Okay, buddy. Take care. You too. And once again, we've been talking with Larry Kenny. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tell your friends to do so. And until next time for the Talking Archive, this is Josh Jacobs. Keep your mind on the things above. And as you hit that open road, don't be a slut on spectator.